Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back again here to my YouTube channel. So this is me, RC Mods. And sa video na ito guys, meron akong ituturo sa inyo na kung saan pwede mo ma-enable yung 240 refresh rate without root. Okay? So, gusto ko lang rin sabihin sa inyo guys na I'm not sure if 100% working to, pero meron chance na ma-optimize yung screen response ninyo, lalo na kapag yung device nyo ay supported yung high refresh rate from 90 to 120 refresh rate and ipapakita ko sa inyo yung aking Android version para may pakita ko sa inyo nagagana ito sa latest Android version which is yung Android 13 and punta tayo sa settings then about phone and as you can see I am using Android 13 and MIUI 14 as you can see I am using Android 13 and the device na ginamit ko ay ang POCO X3 Pro, okay? Na mayroong 6 and 256 internal storage. So, let's start the tutorial, guys. So, first of all, download nyo lang yung zip file na nasa description natin, okay? Then, open nyo yung Z-Archiver application ninyo. At itong Z-Archiver, guys, available lang yun sa Google Play Store. So, open nyo lang yun, guys. Then, punta ka sa download folder. Kapag nakapunta ka na sa download folder guys, um, kailangan nyo i-download tong zip file na ito sa description natin. And then tap nyo yan, and then choose extract here. Okay? So, yung, meron tong password guys. Meron akong dalawang zip file na i-provide sa link sa description natin yung may password at walang password. Okay? Kung gusto nyo makita yung password, panoorin nyo lang yung video ng bo. Okay? So, click lang natin yung okay guys. Then, kapag na-click na, open nyo lang tong folder na ito. Tap nyo lang yan. Then, install nyo tong application. Okay? Install nyo lang yan, guys. Install. Then, merong lalabas na ganito. Black by Play Protect. Take note or ano. Uh, may sabihin ako sa inyo na hindi po ito siya virus. As you can see, ito ay built-in application sa device natin. At ito ay nasa old version na kung saan gusto i-update ni Play Protect yung application. Okay? So, click lang natin itong install anyway. And then, click done. Pag na-install nyo na guys, bunta lang kayo sa home screen ninyo. Okay? And then, swipe down. Then, meron kayong makikita ang bagong option dito which is yung refresh rate. Kapag wala naman kayong nakikita ang option na refresh rate icon dito, kailangan nyo lang gawin is itap itong edit icon. And then, add nyo lang yung gusto nyo i-add which is itong refresh rate. Pag na-add nyo na, click nyo lang yung done. Then, swipe ulit. Then, refresh rate. Tap nyo lang yun guys. Pag na-tap nyo na, merong lalabas na ano, permission, so click nyo lang yung okay or yung continue, then tap nyo ulit. And as you can see, maraming option dito na pwede nyo pagpilian yung minimum refresh rate and maximum refresh rate. So, yung isa suggest ko sa inyo, kapag yung device nyo ay supported yung 120 refresh rate pataas, ay recommend na gumamit ka ng 120. Kung supported naman yung device mo ng 144 refresh rate, piliin mo yung 144 hanggang sa pataas. So, now I'm going to use 240 refresh rate and click done. Pag na-click nyo na guys, yung screen ninyo or yung animation ng screen ninyo magiging mabilis. As you can see, mabilis pa mag-open ka ng application. As you can see, napaka napaka smooth, di ba? So, isa pa guys, nakakatulong rin to sa mga hardcore gamer na kung saan gusto nila mapabilis yung screen touch response nila para hindi sila mabitin kung ano lang man yung kanilang pipindutin. At isa pa ay hindi na to kailangan ng rooted device para gumana yung application. So, yun lang guys, i-download yun yung application sa description natin at meron akong ipapakita ang example gameplay sa device na ito gamit yung application na refresh rate changer or yung application na dinownload natin which is ito. Okay? So, make sure guys na panoorin yung video para makita nyo rin yung password and let's start. Escape 
While you and me repeat This bittersweet heat Is suffocating I'm waiting And always hesitating Kryptonite desires Set my heart afire Heart on fire Set my heart afire Like I'm flowing 